All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. All right, um, before I get going on this video about Deep Purple, here is Sunstorm. Sunstorm is, um, <clears throat> well, it's good. If you like Deep Purple, rainbow kind of stuff, it's got some progressive and melodic rock tendencies all rolled into one. Some people like the JLT, Jolin Turner version of Sunstorm better. I totally understand why you would. Uh, the Ronnie Ramiro version caused a little bit of controversy when it came out. <clears throat> I'm going to be diplomatic. It's the new Dave. Hey, it's the new Dave. I like them both. How's that? It's kitties falling off of tables onto the floor. It's unicorns and fluffy bunnies. Here it is. Sunstorm brothers, brothers, brothers in arms. Yeah, I'm thinking dire straits when I do that. But uh, yeah, check it out. Courtesy of our friends over at Frontiers Music. Um, speaking of Deep Purple, holy crap, Batman, they're not retiring. <clears throat> uh, Roger Glover says Deep Purple is working on uh, their first studio album with guitarist uh, Simon McBride. It just that name. You have to say it that way. In a new interview with A Rock Radio from Brazil, Glover spoke about the band's plans for the coming months. He said, well, we've just undergone a big change because Steve Morse quit. He retired from the band. And here's just a little bit of controversy here. Um, it looked as though he was just quitting to take care of his uh, very ill wife, which is very admirable and cool. But I've heard uh, that the Steve Morse band might be getting back together again. So that's kind of odd. I mean, if you're gonna retire, um, maybe the Deep Purple touring schedule, recording schedule uh, wasn't so good. Uh, maybe those relationships weren't as good as we thought, because these guys are really excited about Simon McBride. Um, Glover says it's a whole experience. I don't know, a whole experience as opposed to what, a half of, of an experience? <laughs> he goes, I mean, it's a different band. Okay, so he clarified. He continued, in a way, we have to embrace change. You can't do the same thing over and over again. And we've had several changes, of course, over the years. And this one is particularly exciting because we've been working on a new album and we can't stop writing, he says. And we hope to have an album out by next year. He says, that's what we do. So 2024, new Deep Purple music with Simon McBride. Um, okay, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Morse, of course, uh, left a few months ago and uh, he said he was going to rejoin the band uh, once his wife's health improved. He was then uh, replaced on the road by Simon McBride. So that's where, I don't know if it's controversy, but maybe there's something more to the Steve Morse departure other than his wife, which I would think is the number one issue. I thought it was really a great thing when he decided to just uh, get off the road and get on with his life. Kind of reminded me a little bit of what Jason Sheff did with Chicago. He had some issues and he had to take care of them but he never came back to Chicago and it doesn't appear that Steve Morse is coming back to Deep Purple. All right, so you got uh, Sunstorm here, Brothers in Arms. Yeah, it's good, it's good. If you need some new stuff for your collection, uh, I'm your guy. I'm gonna continue to uh, put these out there. Thanks for watching folks. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Patreon, if you can help me out on Patreon, I'm in a revenue decline right now and it's, a little inexplicable, but I've got, you know, a few ideas as to why it's happening. So if you can help me out via Patreon and maybe replace a couple of those bucks, uh, it's happening very quickly. I would really appreciate that. Uh, for the rest of you who are already doing that, thank you very much. God bless, and I will see you soon.